Qatar Energy lays the foundation brick for the major liquefied natural gas Northfield expansion project. The Expo Doha 2023 has officially opened its doors to the public. Stick around to find out more about the country's biggest sustainability event. Qatar sends crucial humanitarian assistance to help Sudanese and Libyan crisis hit people. And in sports, Qatar superstar jumper Martez Bersham cruises into a high jump final. Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. Qatar Energy officially laid the foundation brick for the mega Northfield expansion project, marking a major step in the construction of the biggest liquefied natural gas project in the industry. The brick was laid by Qatar's Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani at a groundbreaking ceremony at the LNG facility in Ras Al Afan industrial city. The country's energy minister, Saad Sharid Al Kabi, said the project represents a quote quantum leap in energy and boosts Qatar's progress towards major economic goals that is expected to reflect on other local sectors. And now the highly anticipated and International Horticulture Expo 2023 Doha has officially opened its doors to the public on Tuesday at the All Green Al Bidar Park. The mega international horticulture event, the biggest of its kind in the Middle East and North Africa, is held under the theme a Green Desert, Better Environment. Now running until 28 March 2024, the event is gathering at least 80 countries from across the globe to exchange expertise on effectively combating desertification. And now Qatar has stepped in to send humanitarian aid to Sudanese refugees and flood-stricken Libyan people. Qatar Charity sent aid to Sudanese refugees near the Sudan-Chad border at the Farchana camp, delivering 1,315 essential food packages for the refugee families. As for Libya, the 9th and 10th planes landed at Benghazi's Benina International Airport, bringing 65 tons of urgent humanitarian aid as part of Qatar's airlift mission. And finally, three-time high jump world champion Muatez Bersham advanced to the final in the Hangzhou Asian Games in China with a single leap. Overall, it was a positive day for Qatari athletics with Abdurrahman Samba and Basim Hameda successfully advancing to the 400-meter hurdles finals. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.